NVIDIA AI transforms text into videos in minutes. Just write a prompt, and NVIDIA generates a full script, adds music, AI created or stock footage, smooth transitions, captions, and even speaks in your voice. Even better, it can translate your video into different languages, making it ready for global audiences. Today, I will walk you through it step by step. By the end of this video, you'll be able to start creating with NVIDIA AI. Before we dive into the tutorial, let me briefly introduce the new NVIDIA AI. To start using NVIDIA AI, first, use the link in the description to go to NVIDIA AI website and sign up. Once you've registered, you'll see this screen appear. As you can see, the interface is simple. Just a single font chat box where you can experiment with different models. In this tutorial, I'll be focusing on the V3 model. Under this model, you'll find generative media, which is what we'll be using. The previous V2 model relied more on stock videos, and I've covered that in my other videos. But for this tutorial, we'll explore the V3 model because it allows us to create fully AI-generated media. One of the most important aspects of writing a good prompt is defining your style and specifying the video duration. You can type a custom prompt freely, or use the easy access buttons below. For example, clicking the workflows button will open a set of pre-configured options that are ready to use. Let's try selecting an animation video. Here, you'll fill in the required fields. Select the duration. Choose where the video will be used. Define the type of media you want to include. Add other details. Once you've completed these fields and clicked continue, in Video AI will generate a structured prompt for you automatically. As you can see, based on the inputs we provided, In Video AI has created a prompt that will generate the video accordingly. In this step, we'll copy our voice and generate the video. To do this, select the voice option from the left panel and click Add Voice. In Video will then ask you to upload your voice. You'll need to record a 30-second voice clip in which you must explicitly grant NVIDIA permission to use your voice. Make sure to pause between sentences and ensure the recording is high quality for the best results. But don't worry, a simple phone recording will work just fine. Since I've already recorded my voice, you can see it here. You can do the same by recording your voice on your phone and uploading it. Now, when I click Use This Voice, you'll see that NVIDIA has added my voice to the prompt box. This means the final video will feature my own voice. Let's create a sample prompt. To make it more unique, we can customize it for a specific audience. For example, YouTube automation enthusiasts. This way, we'll generate a video tailored to that niche. Once the prompt is ready, simply click Generate Video to start the process. Before the generation begins, you'll see this screen. Here, you can choose between stock media or generative media. Since this tutorial focuses on AI-generated content, I'll select generative media and leave the other settings as they are, as they already look good. Now, let's start the generation process. Finally, let's watch the video together and see how it turned out. What's up guys, Corgan here. I've been exploring Istanbul and I'm about to drop my top five picks for YouTube creators. Let's check it out. First up, the Hagia Sophia. This place is straight up dope, like the ultimate crossover of architectural operating systems. Next, the Grand Bazaar. Um, imagine the craziest tech marketplace, but 500 years old and filled with spices instead of gadgets. Third, we've got the Blue Mosque. It's crispy clean with its blue tiles, like, you know, the iPhone of mosques. Fourth is a Bosphorus Cruise. It's like the ultimate wide-angle lens for your eyes, capturing two continents at once. AI did a great job making the video both fun and engaging for YouTube enthusiasts, using clever technological analogies to keep things interesting. Now, let's make some adjustments in our video. For example, let's move the subtitles to the bottom. As you can see, a simple prompt was enough to reposition the subtitles effortlessly. Now, let's change the language to German. Let's see how our video looks in German. Schauen wir mal. Zuerst 
die Hagia Sophia. Dieser Ort ist der Wahnsinn. Yes, InVideo provides a ready-made structure, but we can still edit any part we want. For example, if we click on Edit and select Script, we can see the entire script along with the media associated with it. Here we can modify anything we like. Let's make a small change to the script. I'll create a more engaging introduction. Now, let's see how our change looks. Hello everyone, your best travel guide Corgan here. I'm currently exploring Istanbul and now presenting my top five locations for YouTubers. Let's take a look. As you can see with a simple tweak, we made the opening more engaging. This way, you can easily make edits to both the script and media. Once we've made all the adjustments and additions, we can download the video by clicking the download button. Here you'll see a few format options. I'll leave them as they are and download the video to my computer. Now let's talk a bit about InVideo's pricing. InVideo offers a free version, which allows you to experiment with stock videos. However, if you want to remove the watermark or use generative media, you'll need to upgrade to a paid plan. The good news is that once you switch to a paid plan, you can add extra generative media credits at a lower cost. For example, you can purchase additional 60-second add-ons at a discounted rate. This allows you to scale up affordably based on your needs. If you're creating a high volume of videos, you can upgrade to higher tier memberships and add different credit packages accordingly. What's included in the Plus membership? The Plus membership comes with 50 minutes of AI generated content, 80 minutes of iStock media, 60 seconds of generative media, 100 gigabytes of storage. Other membership tiers offer different allocations, which you can compare based on your needs. Is it worth it? I'd say yes especially considering that generative media is still a new technology. As the next step, click the link in the description to start learning InVideo AI, or check out my other video on YouTube automation.